the Second World Internet Conference, where delegates from all over the world discuss the many issues facing the global internet community. The organizers have provided a platform for leaders from around the world to come together. So this Wujang conference sounds like exactly the right formula. Bring people together, people who don't agree, let them talk it out instead of keeping them apart. Chinese citizen and uh, Chinese culture and uh, U.S. culture is totally different. And uh, we encourage more and more people, entrepreneurs, to start their business and not just work for big companies. We have a lot of people who are not in the same age. We have a lot of people who are not in the same age. We have a lot of people who are not in the same age. We have a lot of people who are not in the same age. We have a lot 实现收入 尤其是在最近两年，呃，从这个突破一百多万，然后到现在的将近三百万的这个销售额，年销售额。中国接触到现在也不过二三十年的时间，但在中国的发展可能会超过这个速度啊，可能会超过很多西方的社会。With the advent of a new age of technology, China is attempting to once again establish a major connection with the global community that will bring unprecedented progress and innovation to humanity. Along with this investment in infrastructure comes the commitment to the new Silk Road, also called the One Belt, One Road Initiative. The new Silk Road is traversing borders from China to Europe through both the internet and physical transportation. Internet will change education. It changes everything else already. Why not education? I believe the uh, internet has raised the global IQ. WeChat has become the, I mean, a lifestyle, not only a chat app, not only a social network, but a lifestyle to Chinese people. Hum humankind faces existential issues. If we don't have a functioning internet, our ability or likelihood of coming up with those solutions is very, very slim. <laughs> <laughs>